Hey guys, welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stupendous. So we're trying out a subscriber request um, from one of you guys actually. So this is um, after the last video, I got a message and someone asked if I could run a Leo with a Tempest and Magnums on it. And originally, like when I when I first was thinking about it, I was like, I was like, I don't know, it's kind of a mismatch with ranges and everything. But really, the the Tempest works really well at um, at close range because you're actually dealing full damage from each clip rather than partial damage. But I'm not sure if we'll even be able to get into the Leo in this round. I guess we'll I guess we'll see. Let's take the Rhino out though, and we'll we'll push over to this beacon. I'm not sure what my teammates are doing. Do you see this right here? So I don't know if you guys noticed, or maybe I'm just doing something wrong, but yeah, see, like when when you turn in the Rhino now, I don't know when this happened. Probably happened forever ago, and I just never noticed, but you can't, uh, you can't keep running forward while looking backward. Like that used to be a thing. That used to be one of the like really nice things about the Rhino is you knew like if a sniper was looking at you, for example, or whatever, because you could constantly check all around you, but now you can turn like that far um, before you start slowing down. Like if you start to turn too far, then uh, then your forward march actually gets impeded. Um, you, you start to slow down and uh, probably to like half speed and, and then turn. Uh, anyway, let, let me know what you guys think, or maybe maybe it's a bug. I doubt it's a bug. I bet they, they probably um, did that on purpose, but um, it looks like that other Rhino is actually, um, he's good to go in center. He's probably gonna be pushing forward here too. So let's see if we can help push forward. Looks like a Tempest Maybe Molot's, Tempest Molot's uh, Lancelot there. Yeah, he's getting melted. <laughs> he's getting forced this way too though, so we might actually be able to get a piece of him and help uh, Mr. Tinker Train <laughs> might be able to help finish him off. So, no, he looks like he got him. Good job, man. And he's, he's got that beacon too, so there's really no point in me running towards it. What I'll do is I'll, I'll make a presence over here and then if an opportunity opens up where these guys are focused elsewhere, I'll move forward, but it looks like it's your kind of typical <laughs> your typical domination mode, especially uh, <laughs> Springfield issue where both teams are running basically all sniper configurations or long range, mid range configurations. And so people are just standing around. Those guys will get all the damage. And uh, <laughs> us over here who are, uh, who are grabbing the beacons and everything, helping to win the game, uh, will we'll help win the game. <laughs> but that's it. So anyway, well, I don't know. I just really enjoy playing Domination. So uh, Beacon Rush Beacon Rush can be fun, but I feel like Domination um, presents a lot more, well, before they <laughs> jacked up all the uh, the balance of the long range and mid range weapons. Um, I just feel like it prevents, uh, or presents a much more uh, interesting gameplay. Um, like there's a lot more variability and I feel like there's a lot, there, there's more strategy with you can make big comebacks with with this uh, game type, whereas with uh, other game types, um, like like with Beacon Rush or or yeah, I, I guess just with Beacon Rush, you end up hitting and we've talked about this before, but you end up hitting this tipping point where basically you can't come back unless like all of a sudden someone's out of bots. Holy Hannah, <laughs> I just got melted. That was so loud. It's been so quiet over on the other side of the map, I didn't even realize that my headphones are so loud. <laughs> oh my goodness, my ears are like bleeding right now. <laughs> that was insane. Uh, I thought it felt a little loud when I was getting zapped by that Zeus, but then that happened all of a sudden and I was like, oh my goodness. Because <laughs> that's what happens uh, <laughs> for first recordings of the day. Uh, not all my levels are good to go. So anyway, let's... Uh, Looks like the game's already in the bag. I mean, this has been a pretty stupid round. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to show this. Maybe I'll just start the recording over. Uh, I was going to I was gonna do two in a row. You know what? This will be good, though. We, maybe we can get a good redemption round. Hopefully we don't get another long-range map. I don't know. Maybe we'll switch to Beacon Rush next next round. I don't know. Actually, you, you guys should drop a comment. Let me know what game mode you'd prefer seeing, or probably I would assume most of you don't care. But if there's a game mode you would like to see, it, it'd be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that, might, <laughs> that might be the lowest score I've ever gotten. <laughs> like, I think I could get more with like a level one Cossack. <laughs> with like level one. <laughs> if 
Punisher's on it. I need to show you guys that one. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's just jump into another domination mode. Oh, that cracks me up. I have to show you guys that one. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> that's what happens. I, <laughs> that, that's why I, I always tell people, like, don't just look at the final scorecard. That doesn't tell, like, what happened during the match, especially now with, uh, with so many things being so out of reach and also, um, like, <laughs> the damage of stuff is very overpowered. Like, these trebs around me, for example... Um, it doesn't always tell the story. Like, uh, like me and that other rhino, we were out pushing the beacons and, and grabbing those, and that made for a really quick win. At least the match only lasted a few minutes. I'll have to go back and see how many minutes it actually lasted, but <laughs> I seriously can't. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever gotten a score that low. It's really funny. <laughs> so, okay, I'm not sure what this is, but let's go ahead and push into center. Oh, nice. Looks like a Carnage Zeus. We should be able to get this pretty easy. It looks like all the their team over here on the right. I'm not sure. Oh, I guess I was, I'm checking ranges, seeing what's going on. There's a guy jumping in. I'm not sure what he's in. So I just want to make sure to um, give myself some cover. I'm not sure where this guy's running. I guess let's let's uh, we'll just drain our clip and then we'll put our shield up here and uh, continue defending the beacon. Oh, that Russian death button's looking at me though. He's gonna take me out pretty fast. Um. So, well, we were able to get center. It looks like they've got a guy there, uh, that Planet Rock guy. Um, he's already in center. So, okay, well, let's, uh, I want to make sure we get this build in. <laughs> Did you see my teammates get picked out of the air? Uh, it's always kind of satisfying when your sniper is picking a, <laughs> uh, a robot in flight out of the air. It's kind of funny. Anyway, I, I want to get this in before we, like, forget about it. I'm not sure how the round will go, and so I don't want to, I don't want to risk not getting it in here, so... Um, I'll have to put the name maybe in, a, hopefully I remember, I'll, I'll have to put the name in a like caption or something like that because there's another one of those like letter, number, uh, alphanumeric, whatever stuff, name. <laughs> it wasn't on Facebook, it was actually a private message on YouTube. I happen to be checking those. I only check the private ones on YouTube like once a month, maybe, <laughs> sometimes once a quarter. So I was just kind of seeing what was going on there. I really, I've been dying to get a Leo actually to uh, to uh, Mark II um, and, and getting it up to level 12 there because uh, it's already got, what is it? I, I think maxed out. Oh, there's Galahad. I want to avoid that guy. I guess we'll just keep punishing this shield with my teammate here. Looks like he's going for the same thing. So we'll see if we can drain that shield as fast as possible. And then I'm hoping to kind of get in his Ansel shield as well so that once it comes back, maybe I can get some cover from whoever. I don't know who. Luckily, we had the Tempest there to help work on that Rhino Shield. That probably helped us a lot just to, to get him out of there. Uh, yeah, we were able to take center back right there, so that's cool. Um, anyway, let's move into the Fujin. But, <laughs> so we'll, we'll have to leave that Leo in or, or maybe talk about it another time. Um, but I did play a couple practice rounds with it. Uh, was it last night? And... Yeah, it actually had some pretty good rounds with it. I should have, I should have been recording or something like that. Maybe I could have put a, like a mashup of footage in. But um, I, I had a really good round on Power Plant with it, and I had a, I had a decent one on Dead City with it. But my Power Plant one was a, was a really, really good round. And uh, wh what I was finding with it is, uh, I was just staying in the max range of the Magnums, trying to avoid and be mindful as much as possible of all the dash bots out there. <laughs> so that I, I didn't get wrecked like right away, but I was still, you know, able to fire upon them outside of the range. That's uh, Fury's looking at me. Oh, I didn't see that he had Trebs. They must not have been lit up very much. I was watching somebody's videos, like how much damage uh, level uh, level 12 Mark II trebuchets do, and it's ridiculous. It is like so dumb. <laughs> I really wish something would be done about those. That'd be like really nice. Um, but yeah. <laughs> We'll talk about my my wish list when we uh, when we get a little closer to Christmas. We'll put my War Robots wish list together, uh, kind of how I wish things would go, or or you know how I wish things were balanced. Because I've got I've got a pretty interesting proposal. I did some like calculations and stuff, and I I threw together like this little kind of like balancing thing just to just for funsies. I was just seeing if uh, we had uh, some other people dropping in here. So let's see if we can help drain that guy. He's going pretty fast, thanks to uh, that boo-boo on my team. I really, really love running the Punishers. 
They're like so fun. Look at that guy. He poked out. He's like, oh, I should have poked out. <laughs> Punishers are great. I love it. It's kind of like having having a, a couple thunders, but with like longer range and a little more precision, or n- not longer range, uh, a little little more precision at further range is, is what I is what I was meaning to say. So anyway, let's move in here and we'll we'll help swap these guys away from our center area here. Holy lag. Oh, uh, that's bad. My my device is actually really hot right now, so hopefully this recording doesn't get doesn't get botched. It doesn't always do that, but sometimes like uh, it just gets like piping hot, like it's almost hard to hold my thumb on it. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably run into the same thing, but usually, so I play on a one plus three T, and usually it's it's really not too bad at all. Um, I really, I don't know the. <laughs> This year's phones, like I, I kind of wanted to get a, a new one, like get a OnePlus 5, or I've been looking at the OnePlus 5T and stuff, but I don't know. It's just, I don't feel like it's enough of a performance upgrade, like for gaming stuff. And I've looked at the Razer phone and everything, and it's just, it's got the same specs as the as the phones of this year do, and I, I don't think that the cooling solution in it is really gonna make that big of a difference. So I think for me is what I'm gonna do, what, what I'm going to do is wait until next year's um, like flagship style devices come out because I'm a lot more interested in what like the Snapdragon 845 has to offer over what uh, the uh, 835s could do this year. If there was an overclocked one that was put out, I would maybe go for that. But um, really the only company I think that does any overclocking with the um, with this year's uh, processor, mobile processor, I think is OnePlus. And it's, uh, it's not by a lot. It's just a slight uh, overclock on the... Uh, on the uh, top clock speed. Anyway, so that's that's for you nerdy guys out there. <laughs> for those of you who had no idea what I was just talking about, let me know. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that actually worked out nicely. It's I think it made for a little bit better of an angle on that Haichi. <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm trying to see. Oh, this guy's in range right here. We've got our Punishers back now. I have no idea what it is, though. It's, kind of, it's hard to tell, like, just with the legs right there. Ooh. Come on, jump. Come on, jump. Come back, jump. You know what? It's not worth it. He's almost dead, so <laughs> don't want to waste the jump. Here we go. This is when I can use it. Move in on this guy. Close in and uh, and start dealing some damage. You really don't start to do tons and tons of damage until you're like 250 meters. That's when your accuracy really takes a big uh, spike upward um, because of the cone of fire. <laughs> I was keeping an eye on, those, on the trebs over there. <laughs> And uh, luckily that guy tried firing at me anyway. Um, <laughs> that really worked out for us. I wonder if we can make it by a... He, luckily he went behind that rock actually. That guy with the traps, he might have been able to take me out right there. Oh, here we go. Come on. Trying to help my Haichi friend here. Oh, oh! I thought he was gonna... I thought he was focusing on me so I started backing up. <laughs> I probably should have moved forward. I could have been doing a lot more damage to him and I might have been able to save my, my teammate there. So, oh, it looks like somebody spawned in behind me. So, oh, sweet, another Haichi too. So I put the Haichi back in um, because of the balancing stuff that's gone on with it. I still feel like it's <laughs> it's way too overpowered. I'll show you guys what I mean uh, in a little bit. One of these guys on the on the other team looked like he was uh, running like pretty much all uh, all the dash bots and everything. And between that and having the, the Mark II upgrades and stuff like that, it really makes for some just insanely overpowered hangers. Like where, like most really good players floated somewhere between like 600,000 and 800,000 damage uh, before with like your standard hanger. Like you can easily have a damage average over a million in Champion League. Like not, not like, <laughs> not you know tanking and playing down in lower leagues but in champion league you can have easily over a million and i guarantee probably a couple of these guys have it i've been looking at stats of players too as i've been uh getting back into playing again and uh yeah it's definitely impacted the game in a huge way it's like doubled the amount of effective damage that any player can do um with uh with just that equipment i mean just just having like two high cheese in your hangar like you can easily maintain an average over 800,000, um, you know, with like max level stuff, not even MK2 stuff, but with like max level stuff, it's just, it's crazy. <laughs> so I've been testing that, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> so <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so that's like, <laughs> that's like uh, 
yeah, like a whole order of magnitude better than <laughs> than our last one here. Um, and so I think earlier I said a guy on the other team. I meant the guy on my team. Yeah, so this is this is exactly what I mean. <laughs> Like it's it's easy to maintain that with this stuff. It's just so insane. But anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, thumbs up if you like that first one with the incredibly high damage. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, I guess if there's anything else you guys want to see, just uh, let me know. Keep me posted in the comments. Uh, uh, someone else asked if they could see my hanger, so I guess uh, that was one of the comments on uh, on the last video or a message or something like that. But anyway, this is what I'm running right now. Uh, I haven't been playing like tons and tons, but yeah. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys so much and I hope you have an amazing day.